Can I go in and we'll start? You can come in, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> okay, uh, welcome everybody to the Sharon Digital Portfolio Session. My name is Montaña Franco. I'm a Drupalist with uh, more than 10 years in, uh, of experience. Worked at Everest since seven years and worked, uh, worked as a project manager on the digital portfolio. Uh, hello. I am Diego and I have been working on, on Drupal for four years in Everest and I work as a Drupal architect. So you are here to hear about how we approach the Sharon website and this is what we are going to explain. Okay, so follow, we are going to follow these steps, starting with the context of the, of the project. Uh, the digital portfolio was a distribution made on Drupal 7, it's multi-site based uh, and the CERN has around 800 websites developed on Drupal 7 and in that sense the scope of the Everest project was to help them to migrate the Drupal 7 distribution to a Drupal 8 one um, and also includes different applications on that distribution. Uh, this project was performed uh, uh, by different teams so we worked together with the CERN uh, teams based on Geneva uh, and the Everest team based in Spain and also in Belgium. Uh, we were distributed in <laughs> three, four different uh, cities depending on, on the time of the, of the project. And now we're going to review the understanding phase, okay? In order to understand the project, we have two key points. The first one, to was to de define a vision of the platform that re responds with the needs and the wants of the different uh, users that in that case was uh, business, uh, certain education community, general public, different authorities in order to develop in that sense a distribution that meets with the objective of all the stakeholders. So the result of uh, this uh, study was uh, uh, a four exercise guided uh, that guides four different questions. Why we are designing something new? This question produced the vision of the project. What will be designed? This question covered the base thoughts of the audience. Uh, how will the look and feel be created? In, in this case, with this question, uh, we wanted to gather or understand the user experience and the look and feel that the, the different stakeholders expected and who will be this design for uh, in order to attract uh, all the users uh, to the new digital portfolio. So we perform different exercises uh, as uh, user experience studies, uh, plan it in Geneva at uh, certain premises and plan it also in Barcelona at Everest premises. So as you can see, this is the result of the new visual identity of uh, the shared digital portfolio. It's quite cool. I recommend you to go through the website and play a little bit. We have plenty of uh, interactions for the users that are really cool. And I will give the floor uh, to Diego to explain the coming phases of the project. Okay, so <coughs> after finishing the, the UX phase, the development team started to, to define the design system useful for, for all, uh, all Drupal 8 sites. Okay. So we started with a Drupal 8 site uh, called well, Web Experience Library that introduces final user uh, to Drupal, uh, to components, to things and, and other topics. At that moment, the design system was based in three main elements or features. A system based on components built in Drupal 8, a thin hierarchy with color scheme and integration with the third system. Uh, regarding components, uh, there were uh, three main needs. One, a uh, solution uh, system built in Drupal 8 that were resolved using pattern definition based on the UI pattern uh, country model. Also, we needed a way to create a reorder and edit component. So uh, we applied each pattern uh, with display switch inside a paragraph for each component. And the last one uh, was a, a multi-platform solution and a fast way to start uh, using components. Okay, so the solution in this case was create a custom model called third landing page 
that install all components as dependency, although each component can be used uh, individually. Uh, regarding themes, the solution was a hierarchy of themes with the bootstrap theme as a base theme. Uh, then we have, in the next level, we have the third base uh, uh, theme with common element and definition for all sites. Um, finally, we have the theme used on, on site, like for example, the, the third home. Okay? And at the same level, we have uh, the third override. The third, the third override uh, is a theme used by fi uh, final users uh, to add custom definitions. In parallel with the themes, we have the, the color scheme. Uh, this feature allows final users, in this case, for example, editors, uh, change color without creative code. And we are going to see an example. This is the, in this case, this is the, the home page, okay, the third home page site. And you can see that uh, right now the header is in red and the footer is in, in blue. So inside the, the theme, we define a, a lot of options to, to be configurable. In this case, we are going to change the, the color for the header, in this case. And the footer, too. This is the preview, and if you go to the, the site, the colors have been updated. The, the header, in this case, and the footer. Okay, the, the last element or feature is, is the integrations. Uh, we have four integrations. Integration with Indico and WebCAD that are system to manage events. Integration with the single sign-on and the integration with the CDS. We are going to talk about the integration uh, with the CDS. The CDS is a service where there has images, videos, galleries, PDFs, uh, in summary, different files uh, resources. This is integration uh, by saving uh, or storing files resources in, in Drupal. Uh, so the, solu uh, the solution uh, is very like it's very light uh, because uh, at the end you don't have uh, files in, in Drupal. So in this case, the approach was uh, create a custom development based on Drupal fields and JavaScript. And we integrated with the C CK Editor 2. And we are going to see an example. This is the, the CDS, okay, where they have, in this case, images with an ID. Uh, we copy the ID. We are using the ID for uh, integrate in, in Drupal. So, in the backend, uh, we can get the, the result. So we can change the, the size of the image, and we have uh, other information from the CDS. In this case, we are going to create a new node, The, the node that has been created, and if with we print uh, the information, and if we inspect, we can see that at the end uh, the information came from the, the CD8. Okay, we, we are not storing information files in Drupal. <coughs> uh, after finishing the development of this feature, we applied uh, them in the home site of there. Apart, apart from other tasks like uh, create content types, views, and migrate content. So now we are going to see a real example of how uh, the editorial team uh, manages uh, components. This is, uh, this is in this case, uh, a page, a uh, who we are page, where they have uh, different components. In this case, we have in the back end, we have a section for components where they can edit. We are going to uh, reorder uh, components. Everything is based in, in paragraph and fields with uh, with patterns. 
So now uh, we have reordered the, the components. And now we are going to or the, uh, to edit, in this case, the, the data of that component. That component is inside the, the section components. It's the first one, the first one, and we integrated uh, the components with the CDS2, and in this case, we are going to change uh, the, the title. So this is the, the change. And now we are going to see uh, a functionality of, of components. Okay, you can see that here we have a component and if we change uh, the theme uh, in, the, in, the, in the site, we can see that the, the look and feel is the same. Okay, because uh, each component uh, has the look and feel, JavaScript and resources inside, inside the definition. Okay, so the look and feel for the components is always the same, <coughs> although you use uh, different themes. Okay, so you have a review what was the result of the project, and now I will give you uh, some figures, okay? Uh, the CERN Digital Portfolio was launched uh, last year, 5th of November, and since then, uh, from around 800 websites that they have migrated, they have uh, developed on Drupal 7, they have migrated more than 600, uh, meaning that it's uh, a powerful tool and, and they are using it uh, quite well. We put here some examples uh, for you to review some of these uh, 600 websites with a showcase URL in case you are curious and you want to play a little bit with, uh, with the digital portfolio. We would like to thank you all of you for attending to this session and also uh, to DrupalCon for allowing us to, to split and to share with you this project. And now is the moment of questions if you have.